In my hands, I have a brand new Rock Pi 4 computer. Let's have a quick look at it. Razer Rock is a single board computer with the form factor of a Raspberry Pi that comes with extremely powerful Rock chip ARM a CPU and Mali GPU. I got this Rock Pi 4 computer thanks to my friends from Comet Electronics. Currently, they're offering it for less than 75 euros without taxes. Comet Electronics is the largest local supplier of electronic components in Bulgaria. Furthermore, they have offices in Serbia and Romania. Visit comet.bg to learn more. The website is available in several languages, including English, Spanish and Greek. Let's start with a quick unboxing of the Rock Pi 4 computer. It comes in a very compact packaging that is just a little bit bigger than the actual single board computer. There is a cardboard wrap with uh, printed some basic information about the device and inside there is a plastic box that contains the single board computer. ROCK4 is targeting the market for makers working on Internet of Things, various hobbyists and open source enthusiasts with Linux knowledge. There are plenty of connectors for peripheral devices on ROCK4. This is one of the advantages compared to Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. ROCK4 is an extremely powerful device because of the 64-bit hexa-core processor ROCK chip RK3399. It features two cores Cortex-A72 at frequency 1.8 GHz and quad-core Cortex-A53 working at frequency at 1.4 GHz. Rockchip RK3399 also features Mali GPU T860MP4. Although this CPU was released by Rockchip a few years ago, it is still very powerful, especially considering the price range of Rock4 single board computer. So, from a maker's point of view, I definitely consider it as a good value for money. All Rock Pi 4 models come with either 2GB or 4GB LPDDR4 RAM memory. The RAM memory and the CPU chips are on the back of the board. This is another difference compared to a Raspberry Pi. On the side of the board there is a gigabit LAN interface, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, which means that in total we have four USB A ports. Mechanically they are arranged as on the Raspberry Pi 3. On the other side we have a USB-C connector for powering the board, HDMI connector for attaching a monitor, an audio jack. Furthermore, there is a MIPI CSI and display connectors just like on a Raspberry Pi. On the opposite side, we have the 40-pin male connector, which is exactly the same as on a Raspberry Pi, which allows you to use a variety of add-on boards for Raspberry Pi on ROC4. Furthermore, there is power over Ethernet header with four pins. One of the shortcomings of a Raspberry Pi single board computer is the lack of analog to digital converter. Well, ROCK4 offers one ADC as part of the 40 pin header. On the back of the board, you can find an RTC battery connector for time backup. Also, on the back of the board, we can find a small connector for a micro SD card. Later on in the video, I'm gonna use it to boot the board with a Debian distribution written on a micro SD card. Probably the most cool feature of ROCK4 is the M2 SSD connector on the back of the board. It supports up to 2TB M2 NVMe SSD drives. Let's spend a moment talking about the history. I know it could be a little bit annoying, but actually these details will help you better understand the whole ecosystem. Ratsa is a Chinese company. It was founded in 2012 in Shenzhen. In 2013, Ratsa introduced their first low-cost single board computer with Rockchip RK3188. In 2018, Ratsa introduced the Rock Pi series and the Rock Pi 4 computer, focusing on the maker community with the form factor of a Raspberry Pi. 
Four years later, the Ratsa team decided to remove the Pi from the name, so instead of Rock Pi, now we have Rock. It's a real mess with the names. Furthermore, we have currently seven models of Rock 4 computers. I'm reviewing Rock 4B. I still keep this very first Ratha Rock computer released in 2013. Ten years ago, I've ported the Tizen Linux distribution to it. As you can see, Rock Pi has evolved significantly compared to the very first Ratha Rock. Rock Pi 4 is smaller and far more powerful. The, one of the major differences is actually that Rock Pi 4 has the same form factor of a Raspberry Pi, so it's significantly smaller compared to this very first version of Ratha Rock. Obviously, Rock Pi 4 has been designed and is marketed as an alternative of a Raspberry Pi, so we need to do a comparison. Here I have Rock Pi 4B next to Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus and Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. All three boards have the same dimensions and mounting holes. The first very obvious major difference is that the Rock Chip RK3399 system on a chip is on the back of Rock Pi 4. Keep it in mind if you're planning to use Rock Pi 4 for heavy duty operations that require external cooling. Another important difference is actually an advantage for Rock 4 because it has a connector for M2 external SSD drive on the back of the board. Considering these differences, although the form factor is the same as for Raspberry Pi 3 and 4, I doubt you can easily use a case for Raspberry Pi with Rock 4B. Here I have Raspberry Pi 4. It supports dual display. Unlike it, Radha Rock Pi 4 has a single HDMI. Actually, this is just like a Raspberry Pi 3, which also has a single HDMI. But Raspberry Pi 3 is powered from a micro USB and Rock Pi 4 computer is powered from a USB-C, just like a Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see from this very simple examples, Rock Pi 4 is similar to Raspberry Pi 3 and 4, but it's not exactly the same like any of them. So you can consider replacing a Raspberry Pi with Rock Pi uh, 4 computer but keep in mind that there are some differences. The bottleneck for all Ratzer Rock boards is the software support. There are official Android and Linux distribution images. The Linux distributions are Debian and Ubuntu. The available Android versions for Rock Pi 4 are a bit old. You can download Android 11. There is a Debian 11 beta image for Rock Pi 4 and a stable Debian 10. I'll be using Debian 10 for the demonstration in this video. There is also Ubuntu 2004 server version for Rock Pi 4. There are several popular community maintained Linux distributions for Rock Pi 4, like Librelec, DiadPi, Manjaro, and most notably Armbian for Rock Pi 4C. In general, don't expect anything near the community and the software support of a Raspberry Pi. However, in recent years, there are efforts to have mainline Linux kernel running on Rockchip devices. You can run mainline Linux kernel without GPU and VPU on RK3399. If you're looking for something more professional and if you're interested in building your own custom Linux distribution from scratch, there is a Yocto Open Embedded BSP Layer Meta Rock Chip which looks in a very good shape. I downloaded and flashed on a micro SD card the Debian 10 image for Rock Pi 4. I connected a keyboard, a mouse and an HDMI monitor to my Rock Pi 4B and turned it on. By default there are two users, user rock with password rock and user root with password root. The image comes with graphical user interface and I'm going to use the rock user to log in. Debian is one of the oldest and most popular GNU Linux distributions. It was founded 30 years ago in September 1993. 
Raspberry Pi OS maintained by the Raspberry Pi Foundation for Raspberry Pi single board computers is actually based on Debian. However, you will find a lot of differences between Raspberry Pi OS and the Debian that we have running here on Rock Pi 4. As you can see, this Debian stable image for Rock Pi 4 comes with graphical user interface. In order to have GPU acceleration, it is using a non-mainline kernel. I opened a terminal and typed the uname command to check the Linux kernel version. This is kernel 4.4 .4 built for Rock Pi 4B with a bunch of patches for Rockchip to enable the GPU acceleration. Let's also have a look at the reported CPU and memory. It is important to know that we are running 64-bit Linux distribution. Linux detects all of the six cores of RK3399. As explained earlier, two of them work at 1.8 GHz and four of them work at 1.4 GHz. The RAM memory is reported as 2 GB. There are also models with 4 GB, but my particular RockPi 4B is with only 2 GB of RAM. Let's also have a look at the information available from the device tree. The device tree is basically a software description of the hardware which is built outside of the Linux kernel. Earlier in the video, I've explained the historical big mess with the naming of Rock and RockPi, as well as the availability of seven different RockPi 4 models. The device tree reports this device as Rock Pi 4B. As you can see, we still have the Pi in the name, at least for the device tree. Things look good and they match what we have seen earlier while we were exploring the hardware. Rock Pi 4 is an amazing single board computer with a very powerful Rock chip system on a chip inside it. It is definitely worth considering it as an alternative of a Raspberry Pi for many projects. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.